हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन टू दी सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑन सॉलवेंट एक्सट्रैक्शन माई सेल मिस्टर एम एस बले आई एम वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट गोखले एजुकेशन सोसाइटीज आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज चवार सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी रिगार्डिंग दी सॉलवेंट एक्सट्रैक्शन इन दैट वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल सॉलवेंट एक्सट्रैक्शन इट्स एपरेटस देन नर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लॉ पार्टीशन कोफिशेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन रेशियो दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी वी हैव सीन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्रैक्स काउंटर करंट एक्सट्रैक्शन इट इज द अगेन एक्सट्रैक्शन टेक्निक विच इज डिजाइन बाय क्रैक्स वॉट इज एक्चुअल दिस एक्सट्रैक्शन प्रोसेस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी नाउ ओके सो दिज क्रैक्स काउंटर करंट एक्सट्रैक्शन इन ए काउंटर करंट एक्सट्रैक्शन द एक्वेस एंड ऑर्गेनिक फेजेस फेज आर मेड टू कम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ इच अदर एंड दे विल फ्लो इन वन अनादर बाय अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सी इन दिस एक्सट्रैक्शन प्रोसेस द एक्वेस फेज एंड ऑर्गेनिक फेज all of you know what is aqueous phase and organic phase in previous lecture we have seen this aqueous and organic phase in organic phase there is any organic solvent may be used when these both phases come in contact with each other at that time they will flow in one another by opposite direction that means initially these two phases will mix with each other then after mixing then that machine or you can say cracks counter current extractor will kept constant then when we move or you can say tilted as a horizontal position then the this one phase will be going opposite direction and one another will be remain as it is this extraction process used where the solute will get distributed same in both the phases see we have seen in previous lecture the solute or, or sample particles distribute in organic as well as aqueous phase at definite ratio but in this cracks counter current extraction the solute will get distributed same in both the phases that means suppose we have take suppose 5 gram of this solute or sample component when we add the solute component into the both the phases organic and aqueous phase at that time 2.5 gram will get distributed into the aqueous phase and remaining 2.5 gram will get distributed into the organic phase likewise okay so this is the process so then the cracks machine or cracks tube consist of series of tubes clamped to a frame which can move to and fro either by mechanically or by hand hiji cracks machine kiwa cracks tube ahe ti ahe series of tube manje series चा ट्यूब है तो एकमेक कनेक्ट के लिए जेव अपन सीरीज ऑफ ट्यूब मूव करतो पुढ़े कि मगे टू एंड फ्रो मीन्स पुढ़े कि मगे अपन जेव मेकैनिकली शेक करतो कि बाय हैंड शेक करतो ज्यास ती ट्यूब कि क्रैक्स मशीन जेव अपन कॉन्स्टंटो दो लेयर जे है ती इक्विलिब्रियमली स्टेबल होता सो 
the cracks to made up of glass and single unit is connected to another several same units to form a train see manjes cracks to kiwa ji machine ja hai ti glass ji ek single unit aste ti ek mekanna pude several unit manje eka sarke dasha khup sare unit ek mekanna connect kelele astat like a train bogey okay so likewise the crack machine will be made now actually we are going to see the figure of that cracks machine or cracks tube so this is the figure of that cracks counter current extractor or cracks machine or cracks tube see these are the tube a b c d and e these are the tube that are connected with each other this is the single unit right this is the single unit likewise the several unit will be connected into the e tube okay and it will form a train see this is the tube a that will be connected to the this tube b and tube b will be connected to this tube c and this will be the tube d and this one will be the tube e okay so that means organic and aqueous phase along with this solute component will be pour through this tube a that will be going into this tube b okay after going both the phases or mixture of these solvents into this tube b this cracks tube will be shake to and fro motion okay when we shake this tube by hand or by mechanically and when we keep this tube stable at that time both the phases attain the equilibrium after attaining the equilibrium when we move this tube horizontally that means this part of this of the tube will be going in upper side and this part of this tube will be going in downward direction okay when we move this tube horizontally then upper layer will be going through this tube c and that will be collected into the tube d the half of layer will be going in through this tube c and half of part of the solvent will be remain into this tube b okay so that means upper layer obviously there is the organic phase and lower layer will be the aqueous phase in that case the equally distributed solute component will be going into the organic phase into the tube d that when we again tilted this tube vertically that means like the same diagram then at that time the organic phase will be collected through this tube e this is the actually first fraction that will be collected into the another beaker and when we add again organic phase only organic phase through this tube a that will be going into the tube b but already there is aqueous phase is there in that some amount of solute component will be there again when we shake this cracks tube then the solute component again distribute into the organic phase likewise this process is repeated several times okay and the entire solute that will be present into the aqueous phase that will be distribute into the organic phase that will be collected into the tube c and that will be going through tube d into the tube e that will be collected into the second beaker likewise we can extract 
एंटायर सोल्यूट कॉम्पोनंट फ्रॉम दिस क्रैक्स काउंटर करंट एक्सट्रैक्टर फ्रॉम द एक्वे स्पेस सो दिस इज एक्चुअली प्रोसीजर ऑफ द दिस इज एक्चुअली ए सिंगल यूनिट ऑफ क्रैक्स काउंटर करंट एक्सट्रैक्टर सो नाउ वी आर वॉन्ट टू सी द प्रोसेस ऑफ द क्रैक्स काउंटर एक्सट्रैक्टर द प्रोसीजर ए सिंगल यूनिट शोन इन अब फिगर इन विच थ्रू ए ट्यूब ए स्मॉल क्वांटिटी ऑफ एक्वे सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग सोल्यूट इज पोर अलॉन्ग विथ ऑर्गेनिक फेज इन ट्यूब बी सी जस्ट वी हैव सीन इन फिगर दी एक्वेस फेज अलॉन्ग विथ वॉट दि सोल्यूट पार्टिकल और सैम्पल पार्टिकल विल बी पोर इन टू दी ट्यूब बी अलॉन्ग विथ ऑर्गेनिक फेज The equilibrium is obtained by two and fro motion of the tube. That means when we shake that tube by moving two and fro motion. That means in Marathi we can say pude magay. Likewise, when we move that tube or we can say shake that tube, and when we keep that tube in constant position, then it will acquire the equilibrium. After equilibrium, the tube are tilted. That means move horizontally so that upper layer gets decanted through tube C and is collected in tube D. When cracked tube is again made vertical, the liquid in D passes through E and transfer to next extractor chamber similar to B. C. Either we can collect that fraction into the beaker. or that extracted aqueous phase through tube d and which is going through tube e that will be transferred into the next extractor that means second unit likewise there are third fourth likewise the train will of that crack tube will be there present okay so the lighter layer that means lower density solvent will be already present in upper layer and higher density that means aqueous phase will be present into the lower layer the lighter layer travels in forward direction while heavier one in the backward direction that means aqueous phase will be moving in backward direction so this is the procedure that we have seen again this is the single unit likewise there is second unit that will be connected into the e tube then third fourth likewise the train of the cracks counter current extractors will be there so now we will see the important characteristics of this cracks counter current extractor and in this case the entire solute will get distributed throughout vessel this is the first characteristic two solutes with nearly same distribution ratio get separated in two different zones see two solutes with nearly same distribution ratio get separated into two different zones suppose when we take two solute component nearly same distribution ratio that will be we can easily separate out with different zone suppose that solute will going into the second unit then third unit then that will be automatically will get separated into the different zones now the applications of cracks counter current extraction first one will be the it is used for separating peptides in molecular weight range of about 500 to 5000 it is used for purification of same antibiotics and certain hormones third one fractionation of peptides 
hormones from the posterior to be of the pituitary gland have been done by this technique fourth one or the last a combination of dubutanol and 0.1 molar aqueous acetic acid is used in the final purification of synthetic oxytocin and it is also used isolation and identification of adrenocorticotropic hormone in short acth from anterior pituitary gland okay so this is about the cracks counter current extraction we have seen the process of the cracks counter current extraction its schematic diagram important characteristics and the applications now in next lecture sorry in next lecture we are going to learn the factors affecting on solvent extraction and solid phase solvent extraction thank you